Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next cycle that we are going to discuss is the carbon cycle. So what is carbon cycle? Now on similar lines as water cycle and nitrogen cycle, this is a cycle by which carbon is cycled repeatedly through different forms by various biological and physical activities. So how is carbon getting balanced in the atmosphere, on the earth, that is in the entire ecosystem, how do we balance carbon? How is carbon getting exchanged between the various biotic and abiotic components? Now, even before that, let us first understand where is carbon present. So carbon also occurs as an element in things like graphite and diamond in the form of its own form, like just as the element carbon. At the same time, it also occurs in the combined state wherein carbon combines with some other element to form, for example, carbon dioxide. So carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide or carbon forms carbonates or hydrogen carbonates, which helps to, which makes the skeleton of a lot of living organisms. So these are some of the common forms of carbon in which it is present in on the earth. Now, when we talk about atmosphere, carbon is present in the form of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and we have seen that carbon dioxide is not present in very huge amount. Approximately 0.03% of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Carbon is also an important constituent of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, nucleic acids and vitamins because all of these also contain nitrogen but that is all organic nitrogen because they also contain carbon. So carbon is an important constituent of all of these. Now let's look at the carbon cycle. So in carbon cycle we will basically talk about two, two things. The processes which add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and the processes which take away carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So these two types of processes together balance the same amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So let us first talk about the processes by which carbon is added to the atmosphere. How is carbon added to the atmosphere? So what are those processes which release carbon dioxide to the atmosphere? So one process that you can think of is respiration. So what happens during the process of respiration? We take in car we take in oxygen. So if you see what is respiration, it is the process in which uh, food energy is released from the food. So basically food is oxidized to release energy. So during respiration, food which is in the form of glucose is oxidized. That means oxygen is taken in during breathing. And the result is carbon dioxide plus water plus a lot of energy. So this is how we get energy from food. But as a result of this process, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. So respiration is one such process by which carbon dioxide gets added to the atmosphere. Now what are the process by which carbon dioxide is taken from the atmosphere? So one such process is photosynthesis by plants. And that is a very crucial process because plants are the only living organisms which can prepare their own food by photosynthesis. And every other organism, they directly or indirectly depend on plants. So that way is photosynthesis is the basic process of food preparation for all living organisms. Now what happens in photosynthesis? The plants take in carbon dioxide and water and they combine together to form food in the form of glucose and as a result of this process oxygen is released and a lot of energy is also produced. So therefore in this case what is happening? Carbon dioxide is taken up from the atmosphere. So basically respiration and photosynthesis these are two reverse processes. In respiration carbon dioxide is given to the atmosphere in photosynthesis carbon dioxide is taken up from the atmosphere now there are few other processes also for example combustion is one such process when we burn objects so objects when burnt they need oxygen because oxygen is needed for burning and as a result of this process carbon dioxide is again released to the atmosphere so combustion is another process in which carbon dioxide is released or carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere now let us look at this picture of carbon cycle because now we will be able to understand this picture better 
So here you see, this is the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide is utilized by the plants during photosynthesis. Now some part of this carbon dioxide also combines with water to form carbonates with water to form limestones. Okay, now the carbon dioxide which is utilized by the plants, that's fine. But these plants will also undergo respiration. So as a result of respiration, what will happen? Carbon dioxide will be released back to the atmosphere. So when plants undergo respiration, carbon dioxide is released back to the atmosphere. What about animals? Animals also utilize carbon dioxide. How? Because plants utilize carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and animals feed on those plants either directly or indirectly. But these animals again they undergo respiration and that is how they add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Respiration and also another process that is decomposition. So when these animals die, so they are decomposed by the decomposers like fungi and bacteria. So as a result of decomposition also carbon dioxide is released and that is how it is given back to the atmosphere. Besides this, carbon dioxide is also taken out, also exists in the form of coal. It is also there in the form of petroleum or the shells that is the inorganic carbonates. So these are also some other variety of forms in which carbon dioxide exists. So basically we see that there are these four processes like photosynthesis is one major process which take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Respiration, combustion and decomposition are the three processes which give back carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.